If you want to achieve 100% security of your system, the best thing to do is simply unplug your computer from the network. Done! This device is now 100% secure. This also isn't a useful solution since I need my computer to access the network and actually do my job. So when we talk about security, we aren't talking about being 100%. We're talking about managing and mitigating risks to our technology in a way that allows us to do our jobs. The risks we're talking about generally fall into three categories, which you can remember with the initialism CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality risks relate to an unauthorized release of personal information, which could be information about a student or about you as an employee could also relate to the confidentiality of personal communications. We've seen lots of examples of this with Zoom bombing, where attackers interrupt an online class by sharing inappropriate content. Integrity risks relate to someone altering information in the system, like when Ferris Bueller hacked into the school and changed the number of absences. <laughs> Availability risks relate to having access to a system or data when you need it. A good example of this that is occurring more and more frequently is called ransomware, where an attacker encrypts files and will only give you the decryption key if you pay the ransom. Obviously, a lot of the job's gonna fall on your IT department. In the case of some charter schools, they've outsourced the security function to a third party. They'll be doing things like monitoring the network for unauthorized users, ensuring that devices are encrypted, or running patches to fix known vulnerabilities. Some of this job will fall on the companies developing the software that you use in school. Your IT department should be reviewing this software security before you use it with students. And some of the job falls on you. This is because as you use different systems, you're introducing vulnerabilities that an attacker can exploit. And oftentimes we simply make mistakes. It's okay. To err is human. The purpose of this video series is to help you learn to avoid these mistakes to prevent some of the most common security breaches that occur in schools.